What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? As in the words of Axel Lee Spratt, I hear. <laughs> Yo, what? Every morning when Axel wakes up, if you go in her room, she'll look at you and say, I hear. Like, I'm back in the world, guys. <laughs> Y'all, your fearless shift leader is here in New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans, Louisiana. You see it. You see it. We are in St. Louis Cemetery number three. I believe we've been here before in our last trip to New Orleans. But what I realized was, do you know the majority of the cemeteries, resting communities out here, or at least in New Orleans proper, they don't allow you to come in unless you're on like a guided tour that you have to pay for. That's a little janky. Cause like, what if I'm here to visit one of my family members? What if I was here to visit one of my family members? I have to go across the street and buy a ticket and get on a tour that I can't walk off from? Like, what if y'all don't even walk past my Nana? That's not cool. But the resting communities in New Orleans are just beautiful. Like, look at all the above ground architecture. So these are the condominiums that we always talk about. This is what they look like when they're getting built. So that's where people will be laid to rest. Am I from the Ghost Brothers? I am. Yeah. <laughs> really? Of course, of course, of course. I'm of you. Oh, I appreciate that. How are you? What's your name? I'm Amber. I Amber. always watch you on YouTube. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, I just watched your last one with Kim Porter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be traveling. I do, I do. We're yeah, out here. Of course, of course, of course, y'all can. Of course, of course. I know you're always respectful with the dead. I appreciate that. I just asked that. them, I was like, can I get permission to take a picture? Because I was like, I wanted to play with. Just yeah, like, oh, that's super cool. Thank you. Yeah, I was out here Give recording. Give me your name again. Daylin. Daylin. Daylin, yeah. I was like, I right, hear his voice. Oh, we didn't get the sign out the way. Oh, Daylin. All right. One, two, three. Hello. 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 Do you live here? No, I'm from Atlanta. I'm actually here this weekend. Right. We brought a, a group of people from our YouTube channel. Oh, really? Or out here in the city. Yep, getting some events. Right. We're doing some One, events. Two, three. He's from Atlanta. Yeah. Thank, Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Like, we call all your numbers, just in case you never know. You said what now? Can I share? Thank you so much. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hey, Amber. 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 Hey,
mausoleum just by the character and just the way that the stones looked. I hope I'm welcome by sitting here and I would love to have a conversation with the, S the Saborin family. I believe that's how you pronounce your name. If I'm mispronouncing it, please, please, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Ooh, look who found some chapstick, some cocoa butter. I know they was probably like, he musty. Girl, I met Dalen at a resting community. You know the ghost brother? Girl, he was musty as heck. <laughs> yeah, because I walked up here. I walked two miles to get here. I enjoy walking, especially when I come to cities like this. So, so family that's resting here, you can speak to me through this box. This is actually a speaker, it's just a Bluetooth speaker. It allows me to hear you better. But through this program that I'm using, it allows me to speak to you and hear you. So please don't be alarmed, please don't be nervous, please don't be scared but I would love to have a conversation with you. All right. My name is Dalen. Is it okay if I sit here and speak with you? You know, the phone turns up. Anytime. Anytime. Practice. Oh. So you need practice? <laughs> no. No? Okay. Okay. Have you ever done one of these sessions before? Yeah. You say yes? <laughs> Do you like when people come talk to you? Can you tell me how to pronounce your name, please? Is it Saborn? Is that pretty close? You know, okay, close enough, no worries. <laughs> So can you tell me a little bit about yourself? How do you enjoy resting here? It is normal. How do you feel about the upkeep of your mausoleum? Do you feel like people could have kept it up better? Does everyone resting here get along? Say no. What would cause people to not get along here? Like, I wonder what would keep resting souls from getting along in the afterlife inside of a resting community. I mean, I get it that there's a lot of different personalities here. Um, 
you know, maybe everyone that rested here wasn't a good person. Maybe some people were, you know, went down a different path and maybe those energies and attitudes carry over to the afterlife. Does that sound about right? What uh, what keeps you from getting along? Ooh, I thought the cemetery, this resting community closes at an awkward time at like 3.30 or 4.30. So I'm just trying to be very aware. <laughs> I ain't trying to get locked up in here, guys. <laughs> Would y'all take care, look after me if I got locked up in here? So, I was asking about people not getting along. Do you get along with everyone here? He <laughs> says some people. <laughs> so, what type of things can irritate you in the afterlife? You said fake? Can people be fake in the afterlife? <laughs> So maybe, yeah, the same personality you had in life carries over into the afterlife. Is that true? Okay, is there anything you would like to ask me? Okay, we said a lot. What is it then? What would you like to ask me? So he live with his family? Is there something you would like to ask me? <laughs> Not really. Well, I appreciate you for your time. All right, family. They, I feel like they came through a little bit, but we're going to move around. We're going to see if we can go speak to anyone else resting and see if we can get some more conversations going and see if the conversations differ any. Look at this. This doesn't feel like, yeah, I don't feel like this feels, I don't know. I don't think majestic is the word, but it just feels like it takes you back takes you back in time walking down here and, and these mausoleums lined up against it, it just takes you back to a different world I feel like nineteen oh eight to two thousand and three like this Dr. Geo Lewis I'll tell you one thing It is hot in uh, <laughs> New Orleans I am sweating Dang When's the last time you seen them Building onto a wrestling community 
It's just like, I don't know. It's just like a, a dose of reality that like, people are consistently, continuously, and always transitioning. Dang. Let's do another session. So this is Louise Kukulu and Paul Kukulu and Jean Kukulu. 1906, 1977, and 1990, they all passed away. Louise Lewis was born in 1881. It's just very, very interesting resting spot. Kukula family, I would love to speak to y'all. If you don't mind, I would love to sit here and ask you a few questions. My name is Daylin. I come in love, peace, and respect. I'm here in New Orleans today, taking in this beautiful weather and just trying to speak to a few people along the way in this resting community. As I was walking, I was just drawn to your space. And I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. Do you mind if I sit here and speak to you? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me the name of one of the people that are resting here? Wait, did you say Paul? <laughs> yep. Okay, Paul. Paul, how you feeling, brother? Paul, do you mind if I have a conversation with you? I would just like to ask you a few questions about just the afterlife and you transitioning. Okay. So, Paul. When your time finally came and you did transition over, was death anything like you ever thought it would be? It was kind of normal. What was normal about it? Do you remember what your first thought was once you transitioned over? Like, do you even, like, do you have, are you able to have thoughts once you pass away? And if so, do you remember what your first thought was on the other side? Can you have independent thoughts on the other side? Says some days. 
Let me know. What? What about the other days? Are you pleased with the outcome of your life, Paul? Paul was. Oh, Paul. He was ninety one. Wow, you was ninety one. Paul, you lived on this earth ninety one years, man. So tell me, are you pleased with your long life? 91 years. That's a long, long life. Did you enjoy your 91? Well, let me ask you this, Paul. Out of the 91 years that you live, what age was your favorite age? Was it when you was 23? Was it when you was 54? Was it when you was 79? Or was it when you was 90? What year, what age was your favorite year, Paul? What age did you have the most fun or was the most memorable? Did you say 10? So what was going on in 1896? That you was having so much fun. Hey, Mary Ellen, where you being, girl? Mary Ellen, where have you been? You said right here like a lieutenant. So, so why haven't you been popping up as much over the past couple of months? You said you got this? Do you feel like Mary Ellen? Do you feel like I just haven't been putting myself in too many like sticky situations, or the spirits I've been around haven't needed your help as of late? <laughs> So, do you only make your presence known when it's like a particular situation? But you're always here, though. So I thought so. <laughs> There's Adrian. Everybody coming back. Where y'all been? Adrian, how you been?
Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited with my shifters. Ooh. Yes, y'all. I've been missing y'all. I feel like y'all just had me out here in the trenches by myself. Adrian, where you been? Welcome back, Adrian. Who else is here? We got Mary Ellen and Adrian. Who else is here? Mary Ellen, anybody else from the team here? What about Rosemary? What about Walter? What about Shauna? Walter, are you here? Okay. Paul, is there anything I can do for you before I leave? Let me ask you this, Paul. Are you at peace? Are you at peace on the other side? Mary Ellen, are you helping Paul? I just had to. All right, Mary Ellen, I'm going to let you, you and Paul, work whatever it is out that you guys are working on. Yeah, Paul, appreciate it, brother. Mary Ellen can take care of you for sure. Isn't it funny how, like, our guys have been gone for a minute. Mary Ellen popped up strong today, and so did Adrian. I think they're probably going to start coming back. I think as I start going back to resting communities and just having these these everyday conversations, I think they come around a lot more for whatever reason. I'm trying to figure out. Huh. Let's see if we have another conversation. time, is it? I might have a few more minutes before they close the cemetery. Let me see if I can get another conversation in somewhere before I get kicked out. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it's funny how, like, I'm just walking, y'all. I'm No rhyme or reason. I'm really just, I'm just walking. I'm just walking. Today is just a, a day of me walking and catching my steps. <laughs> but I wanted to, you know, just have some conversations here no real rhyme or reason just go where i was led and just see where the conversations came so as i was walking back towards the front literally i stopped right here for a second and i just looked at the names and guess whose name is right here mary ellen 1920 to 2001 so we already know mary ellen is our mary ellen is here you know what i mean and she's been very talkative today so what I want to do is just set up a spirit box. I'm going to walk away for a few minutes and I'm just going to let Mary Ellen do her thing 
and maybe this Mary Ellen. Maybe this Mary Ellen and our Mary Ellen might have a conversation. So Mary Ellen Gierkin, I have a friend named Mary Ellen. I don't know, I don't know her last name. <laughs> but maybe she'll tell you. I'm really just trying something right now. I'm just curious if maybe, just maybe, you all will have a conversation with one another. I don't know too much about the afterlife, but I just like to try things. So Mary Ellen, please meet my friend, Mary Ellen. Hi. Heard hi. Well, maybe the other Mary Ellen's still down there working. So there is Lawrence Albertine and Mabel Hazel, Mary Ellen, and George Alva all resting here. People born from 1885 all the way to 1921. The John Moragas family. How are all of you all resting today? Uh, I said it's a gift. How does it feel to be resting with multiple members of your family? Does it make transitioning more comforting? <laughs> Can you tell me how to pronounce your last name? Is it Moragas? Oh wow, that's a lot of women resting here. You have Mary Ellen, Hazel, Mabel, Anne, and our team. Where are the men of the Moragas family? Where is it? Oh, no. 
Cemetery. History is it. Think so. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me stop by for a few minutes and eavesdropping. Can I bring some friends back some other time? Thank you. Mary Ellen, can you say your name one time? Okay. Well, thank y'all. Yeah, security keeps <laughs> riding by. Let me get up out of here. Y'all, we're here all weekend. We're here in New Orleans all weekend. For those that are here, we finna have a good time. For those that aren't, y'all missing out. And I hope FOMO bites you in your butt. <laughs> bites you in your derriere. No, I'm just playing. We're gonna be here next year, baby. Look, this is just the inaugural Graveyard Fest. That's it. It's the inaugural, baby. Number two is going to be where the party at. <laughs> y'all just make sure y'all come hang out with the kid next year. But for those that are out here this year, my mighty, my mighty, my mighty 30. Y'all, New Orleans ain't got a cell big enough to hold us, y'all. Let's tear this city up. Love, love, love. Let me walk. Let me let me let me walk on the way out. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this resting community on the way out. They are literally building more of the condominiums. They are building this resting community up like it's an actual community. Like these are the high rises. That's where they're gonna be putting the next round of people. That will be getting entered here. That's wild. It's literally like 30 spaces. Sheesh. If that don't make it real. I don't know what does. Blessings to all that are resting. Mother, brother, sister. I hope everyone is resting uh, peacefully. Dang, I, I hate Joseph Vine's family. I hate that your, your stone has been broken. But you know, anything could be the reason behind that. Good old New Orleans. But it seems like these mausoleums, like, although they look like they're, you know, they've been through it, they definitely feel like and look like they, they're holding on. Yeah, I know they did not close this gate with me in here. <sighs> All right, y'all. Let me figure out how I'm going to get out this cemetery. Love, you know I'm irritated. I don't say a cemetery and not a resting community. Y'all, let me get out of here before I get arrested. Love, love, love. See you next time. Can I get out this way? Somebody just said, don't lock me in the cemetery. Oh, oh. There you go. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm right here. I yeah, yeah, I, I didn't realize they closed this. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, I appreciate you. Thank you. You got your camera. You want to stay and play? No, man. I, I'm getting up out of here now. Appreciate y'all, fellas. You didn't have to stay here all night. At least it would have been quiet. Right. It would have been real quiet. At least hopefully it would have been. <laughs> right, right. All right, gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah. I love New Orleans is just so look at me lying. I ain't know what time y'all close. I done told y'all ten times we close at 4 30. <laughs> what y'all closing now? Is it is that it ain't you? You closing the gate now? Yeah, you gotta hit them like you don't know what's going on, y'all. Yeah, people in New Orleans are beautiful. Everybody is just so cool and like <sighs> New Orleans, I love y'all. Love, love, love.